this video gets 200 likes within the next 24 hours, I will be posting two episodes of my reaction to Gintama the next day. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And let's jump into the episode. I guess this is, he's doing it the second time and that's messed up and the first one really destroyed him I guess even Takasugi oh man <laughs> I love the soundtrack oh she's missing the their place <laughs> oh man, the, the simple things, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, she needs to protect Kagura. Oh, <laughs> I leave later. Oh, we're Sadaharu is coming. <laughs> I think Sadaharu is is now connected to to the Altana because they they hint they they said that with the former priestess. Oh, maybe Sakamoto. Yeah, Sakamoto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, they're reunited all again. <laughs> oh man, Kagura. Man, the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's his. That's his. <laughs> yeah, that's his real, real. I guess uh, name. I guess um, what is called? How he's, how he is really. Because before <laughs> they said that he was just a loud mouth. <laughs> No, <laughs> man, Sasaki. Yeah. Man, <laughs> this is going to be good. And this is going to be a space battle. The Kayentai. Someone Maybe Oboro? Or Umibozo? I guess maybe Umibozo But I guess he's He doesn't want to be interfered From killing Kamui Whether Yeah To Kill Oboro And I, I guess Takasogi also has somewhat realized that he has finally vented out all his anger towards Gintoki. And once he learned that Shoyo about Shoyo. Oh man, the guitar riff. Oh, that is it. Nobu Nobu. 
は自らやれやれおいでのすっとかねえいつだって言うんやったら I guess he has. He has the ships. Yeah. Just kill him now. <laughs> Man, it's Sakamoto. <laughs> oh, it's such a Sakamoto now. Oh, <laughs> in 13 seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Kagur is throwing bombs. <laughs> yeah, they've used to this situation. Yeah, all he cares about is himself. <laughs> The only moment he was really cool was when from the uh, from Simon's art. After that, he was <laughs> totally useless and very. He was like nothing. Gintoki helped that. <laughs> I guess it's also Sakamoto. I'm so excited for the fight with Umi Bozo, Kagura, and Kamui. I think it will be Kamui and Kagura versus Umi Bozo. That would be amazing. <laughs> but I don't know if Umi Bozo could hurt Kagura. <laughs> the pl their planet.
Oh, no. <laughs> oh man, it's about to happen. Man. So that's the end of the episode, and man. <laughs> I guess it's somehow Kagura's It's because of Kagura that really forced Gin to Kito um, To really help Takasugi Because I think last from the last episode He, he doesn't want to be involved in all of this Because I kind of understand as well Because he's still somewhat traumatized And he's still I don't think he's still not really fully ready yet In dealing with Shoyo But I guess that's that's the thing is that he he cares about his family he about he he cares about Kaga so much that he would he would go th through it all over again just to protect Kagura and um, I love that moment when Kagura was looking back to the Yorozuya their their place their apartment and uh, yeah remem remembering the simple simple times and. Yeah, I I also rem uh, personally feel that same way because because Gintama is never like this. <laughs> this is a a really serious, intense um, arc now, which is I which I love as well. But you s sometimes you just miss the those moments when you don't have to worry about anything about any characters because right now you feel you feel. Um, you feel um uh, you feel that you feel worried about each of the characters um in this arc that you don't cuz you don't cuz i don't want to lose any more characters especially cuz all the characters that are are somewhat involved in these arcs are the ones that we've been for so long that we've been used to that they were just fooling around and I'm worried for Umi Bozo, for Kamui, and Takasugi, Katsura, and Sakamoto, and all the characters that are outside of the main trio. Uh, you would really, I I always feel like they have the potential to, um, to be killed off, especially with Shigeshige and Isaburo. But I don't know. Um, that's what I feel, especially with the the scale of the fight that they're going. Cause last um, last arc, their fight was with uh, Mima Warigumi, and uh, I guess it's still revolving around the Tendoshu. But with the Oniwaban, now I think it's in a much grander scale. Cause now they're fighting somewhat indirectly the Tendoshu with Utsuro. It's just through the Harusame. They have to face through the Harusame. And it's always been... They've always been... Uh, intro when in Harusame was introduced before... Um, it all, Especially when they showed that Harusame is a much bigger crime syndicate than what it was initially introduced. So you could totally see them becoming like uh, uh, the, 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 the enemy right like this. So it's finally happening the one that um, I've been saying for so long and uh, yeah Oboro is still alive I wonder how is he the one who leaked the information that the uh, 7th fleet was going to be um, destroyed or, or attacked or something because some because they said that someone leaked information for the key for the Kayentai to help to help um Takasugi escape. So, yeah, finally Sakamoto <laughs> has uh, has been involved. I've been waiting for him to be involved in all of this, and we all know Sakamoto is. They, I think they said that he's one of the great pilots, and at the same time, he's also a great. Uh, he's part. He he created Kai and Tai, and remember that um, Mutsu was a former space pirate as well. They were like bigger than Harusame before so 
And it's because of, I think the the father died. So but definitely this is going to be hype cuz I think we will I will now finally see um Umi Bozo uh on the works and yeah, I I always saw I always recognize him to be the most powerful man, but I guess I somewhat misinterpreted it cuz he was like the number one hunter of aliens so but i th- i think he's all almost at this at that same level with how strong he was and especially he was also ranked with hosen who's considered to be the strongest theato he was the king of the night and but i think right now the strongest i guess they uh nobume said it the strongest um the strongest being in the universe is probably um, Utsuro and it, I think the one who needs to defeat Utsuro is the four is the is the four legendary warriors of Joey War and uh, Sakamoto and uh, Atsura Takasuge and Gintoki and also they mentioned uh, Sakamoto's I think I guess they they did did they mention that before that he's the dragon of um I forgot the the, the second part. But he was like a, called a dragon, and I, that I think he was first uh, called as the loudmouth with the uh, with the phantom sixth me- F- phantom fifth member <laughs> uh, arc that they did. So yeah, I guess maybe that's that's what's what that's what he's really called before he they met Gintoki or or maybe that's how he was be- become renowned so yeah it's it's really going to be exciting now that they have been reunited and the white yaksha is also um yeah Gin- Gintoki with the, with his leadership skills will definitely be able to and yeah th- the four of them their talents combined are it's like the generation of miracles. They're they they can do anything, and they just toppled, um, no a uh, Nobunobu's government like that. And <laughs> I guess if I guess if their target was the shogun from the Joey world, they could have done it. It's just that their tar- tar- their priority back then was to save Shoyo. Somewhat similar now, but right now it's to kill Shoyo. So. And also with Kagura's, I mean Katsura's line that Kintoki have to do it. Another, uh, uh, he has to kill Shoyo twice now. So, yeah, the burden that he has to cur- carry. And I think he's the one who really is re- who's really going to do that. And I think that's why Shoyo hinted that uh, about the only the only person that to, that could cut down a monster is a, a, a human he needs to become stronger as a human so that that says a lot that um gintoki will eventually be able to surpass shoyo but i don't i wonder if that's going to happen in this arc cuz i'm not sure what happens after that cuz who's the bigger threat after shoyo if he's considered now to be the strongest being so because maybe this arc it will be focused around Harusame and Umibozo and then maybe the next arc will be I guess the final arcs will be focused around the Tendoshu as a whole because we only know about one of the Tendoshu which is um, uh, Shoyo so I wonder if there are if the others are also as strong as him or maybe around his strength but definitely i feel like they're also immortal so they also have to find a way how to deal with that immortality what's the the weakness that they could find or that they could u- utilize to to defeat shoyo because how would you kill shoyo <laughs> if you already behead him he lo- now and he he came back to life. Do you have to cut him into pieces and separate his body? Will that <laughs> will that work? So yeah, um, that's all I can think in this on that scenario. And I'm not sure, maybe the heart or something. So 
yeah um, that's all I could say in this episode if you would like to share your thoughts let me know in the comments down below and if you did enjoy watching my reaction please leave a like make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, down below and uh, if you want to watch my reaction on the, on, the pa uh, on the next episode you could also check it out on my patreon in the link in the description down below there you will have an early access and a full length version of my reaction in youtube and it will really help support my channel a lot. So thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.